Okay. All right, moving on. In a recent interview with Good Morning Britain, R. Kelly's three sisters spoke out in the convicted sex offender's defense and insisted that he is the real victim. Cassandra Kelly said, African Americans have always been treated unfairly. And so I think that has a lot to do with R. Kelly's sentence, as well as other factors. Now, when Kelly's sisters were asked if they believed that their brother had not been with underage girls, Lisa Kelly said, I can say he may have been with younger women, but as far as underage girls, no. And I stress underage girls. Who has seen that? I believe a lot of the alleged victims are bitter. Lisa Kelly continued, he is a, he's not a monster. He's not a pedophile. The only victim I've seen that's been stolen from lied on is Robert. What are your thoughts on R. Kelly's sisters defending his actions, Al? You remember I told you on this show when we found about his conviction that that brother and and anybody that worked in that camp, including, and I even threw his ex-wife underneath the bus, I said all of them need to uh, be put underneath the jail because if they if they knew they all need to be put underneath the jail, we need to add the sisters to that list. First of all, how's she gonna completely forget all about Aaliyah, right? Aaliyah was underage. He got her impregnated, falsified, falsified documents to marry her, got her pregnant, all underage. Doesn't that make him a pedophile? Doesn't that make him racket? Isn't that racketeering? Like, what does she mean she didn't see any? That's just very confusing to me. These sisters and that brother both, all of them need to be quiet until all of his trials are completed. We know he's got to go back to Chicago for another trial. All of them need to be quiet because them talking is not doing anything but making us more upset. And at this point, we need to have empathy for the man for getting 30 years, not be upset and want him to get more because people are trying to talk him out of jail earlier. Those sisters are giving me, you know, the family members, especially moms, and this happens in our communities a lot. My son could do no wrong. Those girls were just fast. It was their fault. They trapped him to get them pregnant. All that nonsense. That's what they were giving me. And I never heard from these sisters before. But like, where were you when all this was going on? And you're saying, yeah, he may, may, may have been with younger girls. Shouldn't you take your brother to the side and say, brother, it's not a good look for you. And you're right, Al. We all know that Selena, uh, Selena I'm sorry, uh, Aaliyah was 15 mm-hmm. years old. We all knew that she was 15 years old at the time. So there's no getting around that, sisters. There's no getting I- around that. Knock it off. I just feel like there's a different way to go about supporting a family member that you love. Don't say you didn't see it and you didn't know. Say you're sorry for him and you wish it wasn't his, it wasn't going on. Like pick another lane. Don't say he never did it. Look, we've been going through what, three decades of seeing evidence of what he's done. And for you to uh, pretend like you haven't seen 30 years of it makes you look a little bit crazy. I mean, you know what, let's not also forget Sparkle's niece that was in that first uh, videotape. That girl didn't even have no hair on her stuff, okay? She was looking like a big old fourth grader sitting up there whining and rolling in that first sex tape video that came out. The other thing I want to know about, unless he got a sister that died, it shouldn't have been three sisters sitting up there. It should have been two because one of y'all are responsible for this. Don't forget, R. Kelly was molested by one of his sisters, OK, so unless he got another sister that we don't know about or that wasn't present, only one of y'all, uh, one of y'all should have been absent. Very good point. Allegedly. Right. We have to say allegedly. Well, the, the documentary said he was molested by the sister. So according to the document, according yeah. to the documentary, there we go. We're going to protect Fox all at all costs. All right, y'all, we're going to take a quick commercial break. And to the R. Kelly sister that did it, were you from that interview? We need to look in, we got to do a deeper dive into that. And look, that's a great point. Let's mm-hmm. take a quick break. We'll be back with more show after the break. <laughs> 